So yoga must be adapted to the culture and the language of the person that you teach and respect it. And it's not a matter of putting another cultural form on that person. And in fact, yoga is a separate darshana, a, a system of philosophy from the ancient world that is entirely separate from the other philosophical systems that developed into world religion in the, from 500 BC onwards. And but it was used universally by all religious systems. As it is today, my Instagram post today says, you know, people have told me, I think you've told me, Alan Misty, that your yoga helps you be a, a good Christian, participatory in the Christian faith. Yeah, like that. So now we're going to do some really heavy duty Sanskrit chanting. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no necessity to it. That's all. One more most important thing. In the Hridaya Yoga Sutra, this little book that I wrote, it says, religious tools may be used as an expression of intimacy with life as long as you know that they're not necessary. Then they become powerful, right? If you, if you think they're necessary, like the usual religious point of view, learn these mantras and then you'll get closer to God, or learn these mantras and all good things will come to you, or miracle healings will occur. That kind of stuff is the bondage of humanity. But let's face it, civilization was built upon that bondage, by that power structure. So we must give the real deal to our you know, religious friends and give them the yogas of participation in the given reality. And then their religion is no longer superstitious participation in life, but it is a full and free participation in life, or their god, or their guru. So Krishnamacharya would sort of sternly pronounce Christians need yoga. <laughs> Hindus need yoga. Muslims need yoga. So I would like you to sit up straight, please. <laughs> yep. No, higher, straight up. <laughs> and we chant this little, we did it yesterday evening. We do it again. I want you to, and what you do is you duplicate it as best you can. If you duplicate the teacher's mantra, you duplicate the teacher's state. That's the idea. A dangerous idea. So, yeah. So, Om Sahana Vavatu, please. Beautiful. Sahanao punaktu. Sahanao punaktu. Sahaviryam. Sahaviryam. Kara favahai. Kara favahai. Tejas vita. Vadhi tamastu, Vadhi tamastu, Ma vidvishabhai, Ma vidvishabhai, Om shanti 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 hi, Om shanti shanti shanti. Good. Beautiful. This Om is very beautiful. In the Yoga Sutra, it's given great um, place, uh, great honor as a practice in itself to chant the, the Om, the Pranava. So when Om is chanted, the lips go like this, Oh. You make a sound that Oh, like Oh, the word open, Oh. Could everybody do that? 
Now, three O's and then a very short M. Om. Om. Beautiful. Did you feel how powerful that was? So pure and powerful. A pure O. Om. And then silence. You hear the silence? Beautiful. Again. Om. One more time. Om. Good. Whenever Om is pronounced, linguistically, silence always follows the M until the next consonant comes. It's always there, even if the mantra is repeated quite uh, rapidly. So it's Om Shivaya Namaha Om. Om Shivaya Namaha. Beautiful. Om Shanti 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 Hi. And just a little thing, if you could make it a soft eye there, shanti, shan, you drop away, shanti, 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 he, and the S of the shanti turns into the sh of the next word. Om shanti, 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 he. Beautiful. And please feel how the body is organized around the mantra to say om you've got to have some strength in your abdominals you've got to exhale you see it's oh and then when you come to mm, obviously could everybody go mm, mm, and you feel where the vibration is right it's right here in the crown but this om and the M is driven from the base. Om. So when you pronounce Om, the whole body you integrate, which is why it's such an effective practice, you integrate the whole body base to crown. Om. And in the silence, the mind falls into the Hrid. Om. But then the whole body is integrated and where does the attention rest naturally at the core of an integrated body or the source of the integrated body which is the hridaya heart so you can feel like this you go inhale come up and then you go And when you get to the M, your fingertips are in your khrid. Okay, come up, M here. In the body, be. Om. Inhale. Om. Then we can go as inhale. come up Om. see you can do any asana and the mantra can replace the exhale they so do this now stretch the legs out inhale come up and come down with Inhale, come up. Start the OM before you move. OM. And inhale up. Now bring your hands to your Hridaya. OM.
Good. Thank you.